they take over the rivers. They scare away the Atlantic salmon. I think it will be a catastrophe. They are not wanted here. We don't want them here. I'm Lucy, a conservationist and zoologist, and I'm here in the beautiful northern Norway to discover more about how the local people are using cutting edge tech to safeguard their livelihoods and a very iconic, very important species of native fish, the Atlantic salmon, from an alien invader. And I'm here to find out more. So this is the, the site of the Huawei Tech for All project. Yeah. First of all, has been one of the biggest challenges because you did mention it here and I believe it's relevant to what's going on behind us here. Yeah, it's the Norway, you have no power at sight. So this is the solution for this river. No, we could go and look at yeah. the monitor. The people who are working with this don't need to go down to the river. They could sit here or on the telephone to look at the salmon. This is our team. Hiya, <laughs> I'm Lucy, good to meet you. And a lot of people might wonder, you're protecting one salmon from another salmon. You know, what's the problem with this pink salmon coming in? Uh, because the, the Atlantic salmon is the, the one the origin here, but the pink salmon are aggressive and we are afraid of diseases. Yeah, we started this project like two and a half years ago. We had this idea that we could see if we could use technology about solving this humpback problem. Two years ago, they caught 1,700 humpback salmon in this river manually, and it took them 1,700 hours of labor to do that that's not feasible going forward, right? Yeah. And now we have caught close to 6,000 humpback salmon already this season, and everything has gone through this automatic mm -hmm. system. How useful is it to have this tech here to catch the salmon for you? You don't have to do uh, all of the hard work, I suppose. Yeah. This is great. So we can just come here and pick up the salmon, and it would be really difficult to get samples if you had to go out and fish ourselves. Yeah. We have a, an AI camera in the first part of the tunnel. Yeah. It separates Atlantic salmon from the pink salmon. And then it sends a message to the door yeah. to open if it's an Atlantic salmon. And then if we see an Atlantic salmon in here, we open the door here so we can swim up the river. It's working very well here. I think it can be uh, put out in other rivers as well, in all over the world, I guess. This summer, two years ago, we installed it in another river and let the machine learn. So what we have done is that we have given the AI computer, the algorithm, uh, thousands of Im images of different species that runs up the river here mm. and tell them that this is humpback salmon, this is an Atlantic salmon, this is a sea trout, for example. Mm. Tested it two years ago and it worked fine. So the first phase was designing the tech. The second was a trial. Trial with the, the cage trap. and the trap and the sorting mechanism and all that part. And now this is third phase, right? This is the third phase, and now we had, uh, you know, waiting for the, the big invasion, basically. Yeah. It's been an action-packed day, and I've learned a lot, and I'm now full of just so much hope because this issue of invasive species is one that is a problem globally with all sorts of animals. To see a tech solution that is involving local people and that local people are genuinely really excited about is really uplifting and really hopeful and it's effective and it's been really eye-opening to see also how this place is just central to people's lives and how important this ecosystem is, not just for nature but for everyone here.